Hey guys, it's your boy Vibag with more Marvel Fred content and we have the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania update details. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff coming for this. So yeah, Modoc legendary battle as well. We have the Quantum Quest, looks nice. And some changes to stuff, like small stuff. So we have one new hero. We have Casey Lang as the new Wasp. You can say she's a speed superhero female. Uh, she is a bio sub character. So I'm not sure like we should be able to get it from maybe I guess future past so we'll see about that. So we have the all allies the leadership is really shit so it's not gonna help out. But she is sort of like a support for speed type characters she gives you 25% ignore dodge superhero type damage extra 15% and as well as 15% extra damage super villain types. Honestly it's only gonna be PvP useful because speed hero female we already have wave we already have white fox Churi a lot of characters that can give much better buffs so i think she's only gonna be just sort of like a support uh and a self uh like self buffing character in alliance conquest or maybe some other pvp game modes like maybe timeline but she's not gonna be there alliance conquest only in my opinion for now guarantee critical rate we have skill damage bonus damage decrease basic damage received uh sec first skill basically has no effect second skill has silence and paralyze third skill has stun paralyze hp recovery uh seven percent only so it's not that much Unless it is, uh, it can be scaled up higher. Remove all debuff, that is nice, and barrier, and all uh, basically have we have the damage accumulation based on the damage dealt. So I think third skill is going to be the most important skill, but all the effect seems to be pointing towards Alliance Conquest PvP department. Uh, paralyze and. Uh, 8 seconds of damage immunity on a 17 second cooldown. So basically you can have this immunity all the time while playing manually. And if was uh, Casey prioritize the 4 skill she can be immune all the time. But we'll see about that. We also have the 100 second proc on the 4 skill so that can be useful. 5th skill has burn, remove active buff from target. Paralyze invincibility 5 seconds and 50% of all attack increase. So all in all, I think she has a pretty nice hybrid kit. Uh, I think she's going to be pretty nice in Shadowlands. Uh, but I don't think she's going to be anything, uh, any good in World Boss Legend and any of the higher end content. Even as support, I think she's only going to be Alliance Conquest. So still... We'll see how she performs. We have three new uniform for uh, for this update. We have Ant-Man, of course, speed superhero, usual 1050 crystals price, uh, human male justice as he is. We have some effect changes. The tier 3 skill also is changed. So uh, uniform gives you 15% extra chain of damage, guard break immunity. So I'm super happy. They capped the native guard break immunity and decreased damage received by 20%, which is going to help him out in PvP. Chain damage, he needs more damage definitely if he wants to counter Jean Grey. So we'll see about that. We have decreased all speed and stuff like that. We have the 60% all attack boost from the tier 3 skill. Plus hopefully, like I'm not sure if the tier 3 animation is fully changed or the animation is going to be exactly the same and the hits and the damage has been increased. So we will see when the update actually drops. Passive now gives you 40% of physical attack. He needs damage. So that's a good thing. Tier 2 passive has the 40% skill damage and 40% bonus damage. And when attacking, so they, they have changed this thing. Okay, so they definitely have changed the passive now. So before, what used to happen, when you use any skill that changes your size of the Ant-Man, miniaturing skill, you will get 87% guaranteed dodge rate. Now, the guaranteed dodge rate is when attacking. So, as soon as the fight starts, Ant-Man will have the freaking monstrous 87% guaranteed dodge rate. Basically, almost unkillable. So, I'm... Honestly, I'm looking forward to how scary Ant-Man is gonna be with this thing. Plus, they also... Uh, the cooldown also is 30 seconds on the tier 2 passive. So, yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. We're only gonna have 10 seconds. So, if he can survive those 10 seconds, he could be almost unkillable. And with the level 80 in the tier 4, probably, he could be unbeatable. So, looking forward to see that. Fracture on the first skill, stun and incapacitation on the second skill. Third skill has stun, decrease character size, but you get some extra attack and defenses. We also have the 1.2% damage accumulation while attacking, which is the best accumulation. So, with the 87% guaranteed dodge rate, you also get extra damage with the accumulation and the extra chain of damage. So, looking forward to how much damage Ant-Man is gonna do. Silence, decrease uh, basically all defense down 25% HP recovery that is nice that uh, Ant-Man has some now 
invincibility for 4 seconds and a really nice 45% attack and defense frenzy buff so they have given him a lot of stuff and on the 5th skill uh, last but not the least stun paralyze and 100% proc on the 5th skill so honestly I think the kit looks pretty nice Ant-Man needed the damage the only problem while Ant-Man had against like Wolverine or Deadpool that he never had the damage he could survive with the 87% guaranteed dodge rate, but he could not kill those characters with high HP recovery and Gene is one of them. So hopefully he will be able to counter Gene now. Then we have a Wasp, Ant-Man and the Wasp Contaminia uniform, 1050 normal, Blast, Superhero. Uh, same thing, uh, uniform effect still, I think she still, uh, she already gives 20% I think. So no improvement with the uniform. It kind of, uh, I'm not sure, like, uh, you guys can correct me in the comment section, but I think Wasp at the moment still gives 20% HP with the with the current uniform. So, if that is, like, there are no changes to the uniform effect, hopefully it's a typo. Let's see. Leadership, we have uh, maybe slightly increased with the attack. She used to give, I think, 18% uh, or something. I forgot. She now gives 30% and everything. Passive, we now have 15% chain rate when attacking. That is nice. And 30% chance when attacking, she's going to apply every 20 seconds, silence and paralyze. So that could definitely help out, regardless of the skills that she's using. The first skill has all defense down, basically, and paralyze. Shock, paralyze, 1 second of all damage immunity on a 15 second cooldown. Uh... That, that is confusing. Why? I hate these skills. I hope it's a refreshing maybe buff or something like that. But we will see. She used to have the refreshing buff. She still has the refreshing buff on the fifth skill though. But we will see about that. Super armor also. 30% uh, extra defenses. Decrease all speed for enemies. Paralyze. Dodge increase by 11%. 45% attack increase on the, four, on the third skill. Fourth skill has stun, decrease all defense. We have the damage dealt accumulation once again, 0.7% this time. Shock, stun, 25% of HP recovery, 9 seconds of invincibility on the fifth skill on a 17 second cooldown. So basically, you can have, uh, like, you can use this skill every 8.5 seconds. So you can have the invincibility all the time, which is great. She used to have. Immunity now she has invincibility, but it all depends how many uh, how many times is she gonna prioritize using the fifth skill in AI slash Alliance Conquest or Tamil Battle. So looking forward to see how Wasp does look like. Honestly, she looks like a support, just a slightly better support and a character. Now hopefully a tier three or transcended. We'll see about that. But honestly, the HP increase is slightly disappointing. I was hoping for maybe at least 30-35% HP increase. But well, let's see. Not impressed by Wasp. Modok, I think the, the OG, the MVP of the update. Hopefully. Blast male super villain. Hopefully he gives uh, support buffs to someone. Male Human Cruelty, 10% chain of damage, the God Doc Modoc, he looks awesome. Decrease damage is here 15%. We have the All Allies leadership, 45% increase of all attack. Passive, uh, we have Snar, Charm and Mind Control Refract, he's immune to that. Uh, tier 2 passive, we have Ignore Dodge. What? No! Oh my god. They have still not given us a blast supervillain male support for Magneto. Still no. I was really hoping for Magne uh, Modok to give at least support to villains. And he could be the third one in the Magneto and Cyclops team up. Because Magneto only has Cyclops at the moment in all the ABX and ABL days. That is... Man, that is ridiculous. Why can't you just give us a support? Come on. Ignore target dodge rate, skill damage, bonus damage. Silence on the first skill. Second skill has stun, paralyze. Decrease all defense. 20% of ignore defense. Oh my goodness. You know, Maul Future Fight is going to be 8 years old. And honestly, ignore defense is one of the easiest. One of the most easiest stats to max out these days. Ignore defense at this time. After like 8 years of all future fight, that is kind of stupid honestly. That is stupid. Burn incapacitation uh, or 
we have the damage accumulation 0.9%. Nice. Mind control, incapacitation, paralyze, 20% HP recovery, 5 seconds of invincibility, and a 35% all attack and defense frenzy buff, which is nice, but ignore defense doesn't make sense. Him not being a support doesn't make sense. All they did was changing his leadership and made him better. Honestly, no hate for Modok. I love Modok and I was really waiting for this. But honestly, this looks like a Shadowland uniform. Why would you buy this uniform if, if he's not even going to be anything close to the meta? Literally nothing. Like Ant-Man, we knew that he was probably going to be PvP. Was we knew that she was going to be PvP. But Modok was our only hope for a support. And they have ruined it. That Like this, he looks awesome. You know, I want to purchase him, but freaking doesn't have anything. Magneto has 50% to himself. Why would you use Modok in the team up? And the, the thing is, you can't. So they kind of ruined it for us. Like, why would anyone buy, purchase Modok? Apart from, I love Modok and I'm a collector of uniforms. Those are the only two reasons. So Shadowlands, I don't know, like, kind of disappointed, honestly. Kind of disappointing. Modok tier 3. Okay, let's see. Killer Instinct, we have Burn, Stun, Charm. Plus, we have plus 25% mind damage every second, which is nice. We have uh, uh, Recovery equal to 50% of damage, so you also gain HP. Mind Control, Paralyze, we have 80% Ignore Dodge, 80% chance to penetrate with basically everything, and a 60% attack buff. So, they did give him some nice attack boost, absolutely. And the tier 3 skill also looks nice. He goes berserk. The tier 3 skill, honestly, it looks awesome. The tier 3 skill looks in insane. I love the animation. He goes mad. He becomes mad. Look at that. He, he literally goes mad. <laughs> so, it looks nice. But the fact that he's only going to be a Shadowland character, probably... Kinda sucks, so let's see. Ant-Man tier 4, the big boy, Pim Particle Enhancement. We have 70% attack or attack boost for 10 seconds. We have 30% size increase and 30% more attack increase. So 100% attack increase and then 40% from the ISO 8. That's a 140% attack buff. And plus, he also has uh, some on his kit as well. Plus all defense, 30% as well. So... I'm not sure. Hopefully, this these things stack up. He has 100% attack from the tier 4. And apart from the tier 4, he as he's definitely getting 100% attack from this. He's getting 45% more frenzy buff. And 30%, 60% uh, more attack from the tier 3 skill. So, are they all going to stack up? If it does, it's, he's going to do massive, massive damage. If it does not, well, let's see about that. Anyways, let's move forward. Wasp, Giant Man, Potential, Awakening, and Transcend Potential. So, nothing for Casey Lang. That's, honestly, it's kind of disappointing. I was hoping for one more. Okay, we have Wonderful uh, Sting, and then we have the Colossal Blow for Giant Man as well. So, now, well, they can be more useful, which is nice. But it could have been nice if they could have also given Casey Lang a Transcend skill. Like, KC line could be the tier 3 of the mid-month, but still. Legendary Battle, Quantum Quest release. Okay. Acquire KC line as one star when entering the stage. Stinging debut. She's free. She's free? A reward can be acquired once upon clearing the while KC is not possessed. Okay. So, you can get her for free. That's nice. That is nice. Uh, what are the rewards, please? Apart from that, uh, we have... Is the CDP of Insight. Okay, that's nice. Honestly, it's it's not, it's better than having Patience, Transcendence, and something like that, like Egg or something in, in that. Plus, you get the MODOK logo, uh, MODOK icon. You get the 4-star Wasp artifact. You get the potential unlocking ticket, I think. So, it looks pretty nice. Uh, wait, what? Is it free or not? It just said you get 1-star KC Lang... For that and then I guess you can uh, yeah like you use that you get that then if you want to get a 2-6 star you can purchase this don't purchase that if you get it for free please don't do that uh, it used to happen normal like mode and of the legendary battle has three stages of each okay uh, that's how it's gonna be we have some extra rewards so we will get 500 crystals back special icon modok mayhem cdp of insight second potential and uh, realization ticket which is night four star wasp artifact which is kind of useless if you're not going to use wasp in alliance conquest and some extra material still no tier 4 material from 
from the legendary battle either guided quest changes so they have changes uh, they have made some changes to the missions that we used to have now it will look kind of better which is still not bad the following will be applied to uh, to the two tier three guided quest related products so we have the benefits character plus pack and special plus that you can purchase through crystals you can basically get some extra rewards i think that's how it's gonna be it's not gonna be that important plus the 50 percent discount uh to the latest uniform which is nice so whichever guided quest you pick uh the discount is gonna be on the latest uniform which is a good thing so you can purchase on the 875 crystals instead of 10 uh, 1050 now they have uh, reduced the amount of uh, missions that we were doing which is nice we have the new artifacts for these these girls so kc lang we have 26 percent all attack increase which is nice uh ant-man now has decreased damage pvp and increased damage to boss types by 20 percent it's nice and uh, wasp we have uh, damage to heroes and damage to villains i think the best artifact of of all of these but it only applies to wasp so i don't know and then we have modok Increase basic damage dealt to alien characters by 25 and creature characters by 25. Man, I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. Uh, Giant Man decreased damage from basically. So they copied, copy pasted Wasp and Giant Man. Just uh, increase and decrease. I am disappointed. Yeah, I am definitely disappointed. Uh, the good thing is that we can, uh, well... We don't have any new characters or everything from this thing because we get KC Lang from the Legendary Battle. And you can get the, uh, what is this? Lang Legacy. Wow. Lang Legacy. So KC Lang Special Artifact and the Kang the Conqueror Special Artifact also. Uh, special Icon, sorry, that you can get. So Kang looks nice. All the icons looks nice. But apart from the icon, I don't know, collection, that's how it's going to be. Other improvements. So you can check it out. Uh, you know, uniform tickets can be used to exchange for uniforms. Uniform tickets has been added. Okay, so that's nice. You can use it uh, for on a constant sale. So you can use those tickets to have a constant sale of 1750 crystals. That's kind of stupid. Uh, so the following uniforms may not be exchangeable. Uniform that do not have a regular price of 750 crystals. So you can't use them on the 1050 crystals or 750 crystal uniform. The base price. You need to have the 1750 original price uniforms. Uniforms uh, that are only sold for a certain period and basically all those things. So you can basically get the uniform tickets and purchase it to uniform. I think it's going to be paid thing. It's not going to be something that they will give you easily. EXP chips as well. Uh, so yeah, don't really have to worry about that. We have the dimension if someone possesses now can check before open. It does not matter though. <laughs> Why does it even matter? So... The unlocking point also has been changed uh, to a, un, like to open Dimension Rift, which is nice. The former agent training will end and new agents will start training. With, man, this is all BS. Yeah, the skill effect or certain effect will be displayed at giant boss raid. Okay, it will be displayed. Active fifth skill and tier three ultimate skill and the gene gray. Okay, and team with high grocery and town battle leagues bronze silver. So. Well, it could give you some help with town battle wins, but honestly, there are very minor changes. The issue of the hero not being not using the skill and charging towards null. Okay, yeah, it ha it used to happen. So thanks of uh, fixing that, your character used to just run towards null and do nothing. Steer four skill will removed from incapacity and cancel has been fixed. Okay, and this basic stats uh, uniform factor of Iron Man has been fixed. Fixed. So there are some some you know I don't know really minor fixes uh let me know in the comments section if you think there is anything bigger than this but honestly the only thing uh that is good about the update is a free kc lang i i don't see anything in this update that you know has a ring to it yeah it has a cdp of insight but do you even know how how long cdp of insight has been in the game and you don't even need that many CDP of insights if you already have them. It's nice if you don't, but all these characters, Ant-Man Tier 4, if the extracts, I think is going to be the only one, is the only hope. All of these characters, honestly, they did a good job at re reworking, but they are useless. Alliance Conquest only. Hopefully, Ant-Man performs good against Jean Grey. This update, I am so disappointed.
honestly i was super excited about seeing how these they will do with this these characters they probably went for full pvp with this update as well just like the la- later one just like the before but if it is something like the spiderman update where all the characters suck outside of shadow lens honestly i i don't know what to expect from this update anymore let me know what do you, what do you think about the video i am disappointed i you let me know what you think about the update details here tomorrow is the update hopefully it shines and it is better than what it looks like on paper for now i'm not happy with the changes i'm not very happy with the update and honestly all the whole update seems like a huge big big skip at the moment unless antman brings something to the show tomorrow let me know what you think about the video and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again Take care I'll see you all in the next one